who is in the driver's seat when we control our emotions or we, we respond to our emotions. We know physiologically that nerve cells that fire together wire together. If you practice something over and over again, those nerve cells have a long-term relationship. If you get angry on a daily basis, if you get frustrated on a daily basis, if you suffer on a daily basis, if you give reasons for the victimization in your life, you're rewiring and reintegrating that neural net on a daily basis, and that neural net now has a long-term relationship with all those other nerve cells called an identity. We also know that nerve cells that don't fire together no longer wire together. They lose their long-term relationship because every time we interrupt the thought process that produces a chemical response in the body, every time we interrupt it, those nerve cells that are connected to each other start breaking the long-term relationship. When we start interrupting and observing not by stimulus and response and that automatic reaction, but by observing the effects it takes, then we are no longer the body, mind, conscious, emotional person that's responding to its environment as if it is automatic.